Welcome to this year's Christmas musical. Virtual Christmas musical. This year, it's all on your screen. You can wear pajamas while you watch. Sit back, relax. And enjoy Ferndale Free Methodist Church's kids production of a 2020 virtual Christmas musical. One new message from Carson. Hey guys, I am so excited for this year's Christmas pageant. This is going to be the best year yet. Have you heard some of the rumors going around that we might be having the guest on? Oh, I've said too much already. Hmm. <laughs> This video communication system is amazing. I love how we can record ourselves, then you all can see and respond with your own video. Oh, but back to the pageant. I have been practicing my vocal warm up since October. Do re mi fa so la ti do. Fantastic, right? I just can't wait till the practice is begin. So excited to see what the writers come up with this year. It's so exciting. Let the pageant begin! Hello to all my fellow performers from your vocalist, assistant, and manager of the stage. I have internally awaited for this day to occur, and finally it has arrived. I have de delicately prepared multiple vocal warm-ups to encourage your vocal cords to participate in the pageant to the best of their ability. The combination of nervousness, acceleration, and anticipation flows rapidly through my veins. The dawn breaks as we thespians embrace this excitement this excitement excitement this beginning delivers. Word has it, the writers have outdone themselves once more. It was once announced Snow Performance had the potential to surpass the emotional adventure and the bemoaning sadness of the American classic, The Sound of Christmas. And yet the next and yet the next holiday season escorted filler on Christmas. Then the Christmas screen soared into the spotlight. Needless to say, this season's performance has the theatrical potential to astound the waiting audience. Prepare yourselves to witness the most magnificent cold read in theatrical history tonight. I shall, I shall meet you this eve at the house of worship. I stand by in anxiousness, anticipation, awaiting the arrival of nightfall. I, sh I shall see you tonight. The rehearsal awaits. doing some Christmas wrapping tonight. It's nearly hours until tonight's first pageant practice. I'm so excited. I had a little time today so I wrote a poem about the anticipation of waiting for tonight's rehearsal. I haven't ever performed it before but I think it's pretty good. Well, anyway, I present to you Waiting, Waiting. Enjoy. Waiting, waiting on a do-da day. Waiting, waiting for the sun to go away. Cause when it does, it means fun for us. The passion cast and groove. Passion practice is tonight. And I can hardly wait. Waiting, waiting, less than grace is spent. Waiting, waiting. Wondering on the fence What'll be for you and me It's gotta be something good It's gonna be very special Cause, because it's Christmas time If you think about it in a few hours We'll be unseen Practicing, practicing, practicing For the play tonight Practicing, practicing Without too much stage fright as we tell the story of how our Savior came to earth, and then about his birth, we sing as we practice them. So, 
What do you guys think? Anyway, I can't wait for tonight. I'm sure this pageant will be the best ever. I mean, maybe the wise one would be riding elephants. Well, oh, maybe too expensive. But we did, but wait, we did rent a donkey that one year. Well, yeah, and then Mary ended up with a broken rib. So maybe it's not the best idea. But anyway, I can't wait. Hooray! All right, team, I'm sorry, I forgot I had that on mute. Silly me. Um, I got you guys all on the video conference uh, because we have news about this year's program. Um, unfortunately, we're gonna have to cancel it. Yeah, I, I, I know we've all been looking forward to it. We've all been gearing up and getting ready to work hard, but uh, it's just, there's no way, we've been talking about it as a team and there's just no way we can pull it together with the restrictions that are in place this year. So I'm sorry, we're just not going to be able to do it. I mean, think about Mary. How can we have her come in on a donkey, but the donkey's six feet away from her? Yeah, not quite going to work. I mean, we could put the shepherds in masks. Yeah, I don't think we could do that either. But do not fear, program people. We are going to do, I have a master plan. We're going to do a virtual Christmas. Yeah, that's got a great rhyme to it, doesn't it? Virtual Christmas. Actually, that doesn't rhyme at all, Never mind. But you get the point, we're going to be doing it virtually. Shakespeare said, all the world's a stage, and this year your house, your home, is going to be the stage. Sound good? I think so, this is going to be great. It's going to be great. I, I guarantee it. Right. But so here's what we're going to do. We're go I'm going to be sending you your parts and you're going to videotape them at home. Send them back to me and we're going to put this all together as a virtual program. It will be great. It will be wonderful. It will be the best Christmas program we've done this year. Uh, so, but remember, the Christmas program is not about the program. The Christmas program is about Christ coming to us as a baby. So when you're performing, don't think about, I'd rather be with everybody else. Think about that Jesus came for everybody else and us too. That's what it's all about. And remember that as we prepare to perform a virtual Christmas. This is so exciting and, well, a bit disappointing too. I was excited to get feedback from the audience, but I'm excited to try out a new kind of pageant. I mean, the wise men could give, give baby Jesus, Jesus sand hand sanitizer, toilet paper, and a mask, or maybe not, but you get the idea. This is the opportunity for us cast and crew to become wonderful and creative masterminds we are we were always meant to be. Now the question is to do or not to do? To eat the gingerbread cookie or not to eat the, the gingerbread cookie? I'm so excited. Can't wait to see my part. Hello to my fellow farmers. I have been forced to sit here at my kitchen table. <sighs> kitchen table ever since dinner. Once I received the dreadful news that in-person pageant had been canceled, I decided I would fast for 30 days. And yes, I have given up Christmas cookies. <sighs> is enjoying the adventure of white Christmas, my mom has commanded I sit here until I eat my meatloaf. 
Good luck with your Christmas. I will sit here until Bass has ended. Don't wait for me. Although the sun has set in on my career, good luck with yours. I shall stare at. I shall stare at. I shall stare. I shall stare at this meatloaf for for days to come as you feel the same pain. There shall be no pageant in person. I love you all. I shall be cheering you on from the crowd in the future crowd performance. This has turned out to be a blue Christmas after all. Oh. The pageant is still going to happen. Maybe not in person, but we are still very blessed that it's happening. A few hours ago, I received my parts, and I have been practicing them ever since. Are you ready? But be prepared. I made a few twists that I believe will take my performance all the way to Broadway. Here I go. Behold, it is I, the marvelous, majestic, melodic, manipulative, most wonderful, mighty, m medical, mind, mind blowing, muscular, majestic, m medieval, a and modest King Herod. I am King of Judea. My crown possesses power and might, which it yields to me. I am in control. Yes, I am king. Me, the knowledgeable, know-it-all, kept up, kingly king. My power is jaw-dropping, justified, jumbo, junkie, Jamaican, joyful, jumbo, judiciary, and jams packed. Never fear me, just respect my rule, and then you shall live. great right I loved it I hope you guys loved it too so do you have anything that could match my theatrical beautifulness of that marvelistic performance if so try me hi guys I'm here on my front lawn but before okay but before I start really the theatrical beautifulness of that marvelistic performance most of those weren't even worth the rest of the part I thought was a little bit too much too so I have some ideas for the virtual pageant I thought for the manger scene, you could be outside to really make it authentic. So prepare yourself for the calm scene as the baby cries and the mother needs a baby. Silence, my holy What do you think? I think the outdoors really adds the emotional touch I think the scene needs. Bye. Hello fellow cast and crew. I have been assigned the the part where the opening scene where where the where Mary where Mary is visited by the angel Gabriel. I have taken the, the opportunity to to demonstrate it for you all. Well, while my rowdy siblings are outside having a snowball fight in the backyard. Finally, I have achieved the peace and quiet to perform for you all. Hope you please enjoy. Here, here in Galilee, nothing strange ever happens. Here in Galilee, I have lived all my life. Here in Galilee, I am safe and I'm loved. Here in Galilee, life is ordinary. Here in Galilee, dust is everywhere. Here in Galilee is where I'll, st I'll stay. Here in Galilee, I live and work. Here in Galilee, there is a great, a great sea. 
here in Galilee that we have lots of food. <laughs> hey, what was that for? Hey guys, this is Phil, your director, just checking in to see how things were going. Uh, you know, I do want to let you know I am so excited about the fun things that you've been doing and all the creativity that you're putting into each scene. Uh, it's been so much fun to watch. And, and you know, it's been kind of nice because the stress of directing individual scenes has been falling on your shoulders instead of mine. In fact, I have already booked my vacation tickets to Hawaii, spending Christmas in the sun and the waves instead of the snow and the slush. Let me tell you, it's going to be so nice. I'm just looking forward to it. This time of year is usually so stressful with rehearsals and, and costumes and staging. You know, this year I'm just really looking forward to some R&R. &R. Uh, but I will have my computer with me, so if you do need to reach out, feel free, and I'll catch up with you in between surfing lessons. Oh, you know what? Um, you know, this is my travel agent, so I do need to take this. I'm, I'm so sorry. But uh, continue with the great work, guys. Um, I know you'll make me proud, and then uh, aloha. Behold my fellow cast, the stars of our show. His name is Mike. And this one is named Pamela. This one is Charleston. And he is named Chucky. I've decided to use these promising actors to make my theatrical scene come to life. They have shown such potentials in our practices. I had just had to feature them in the live stream. I believe this dramatic plastic troupe holds the ticket to making my scene into the theatrical performance of the century. Their plastic expressions add such a touch. I just love my little players, don't you? I mean, how could you not love them? They'll add so much to the show. Well, I should get back to practicing with my little theatrical friends, okay? Bye! Behold, I have been assigned the role of Gabriel, the angel. It is now with great honor and pride I portray with this biblical superstar. I had had my invisible heavenly host with me now. If you notice, I am very high. And now the music. Angels from the realms of glory, wing your flight or all the earth, ye who sang creation's story, now proclaim Messiah's birth. Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ the newborn king. Shepherds in the field, abiding, watching o'er your flocks by night. God with us is now reciting, yonder shines the infant light. Sages leave our contemplations, brighter visions, beam afar, seek the great desire of nations. Ye have seen his natal star. Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ the newborn king. I'm okay. Hi from your trusty choreographer. I have some very important suggestions that will improve your dance at home. But before I begin, I would like to encourage you to be original. I mean, what would our Christmas pageant be without creativity? Now onto our tips. First, I'd like to remind you to get your body warmed up before the live stream begins. For example, you can roll your neck. Also, maybe some jumping jacks. Yeah, and make sure the space around you is cleaned up. Yeah, okay, next let's twirl. Ouch. Ew, is this even clean? <laughs> well, anyway, I, I also encourage you to practice splits. They can be very helpful in your performance. Good grief, just be creative. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Man, I'm soaked. Cast and crew, I've made uh, the, exec the executive decision.
permission not to use my previous monologue as King Herod, but never fear, I've taken it upon myself to compose a new piece introducing King Herod. Performed by me, of course. This part really gives some context to King Herod's reaction when the wise men arrive. It gives the reason why King Herod is so angry. He is frustrated with everyone, and, King, and then King Herod hatches an evil plan. So prepare yourselves to be amazed. Here I go. I got the Herod blues, cause I'm king, you see. But life's not great when you're king. All I feel is blue. I got the kingly blues. My cape is too heavy, my chamber too stuffy, and at my feast, and at my feast, the food ain't sweet. All I taste is blue. I really like that part. So what do you guys think? I think it gives our passion the push it needs to be over the top. I can't wait to perform it. Let me know your thoughts. That was great. Okay, now we're minutes away from a live stream of a virtual Christmas. But before we start, I have a few reminders. Number one, st stay calm and have fun. Remember, this is just for friends and family. No pressure. Number two, if you're singing about a silent night, make sure it is quiet. And if you're away in the manger, make sure make sure you are away from society. Number three, if you're an angel, make sure you stay flying throughout the course of your song. Number four, make sure to move all the obstacles out of the way so the floor is clear. And number five, don't sit and watch your meatloaf moan. I know that's not about the show, but don't do it. Everyone, stay calm. This is just for friends and only, friends and family only. And showtime in three, two. One, curtains up! Aloha everybody and welcome to our Christmas program. This is Phil, the director from the Aloha State, wishing you a Maliki Kaliki Haya. Maliki, Merry Christmas, Hawaiian style, whatever it was. Anyway, uh, I just want you to know that this uh, holiday season has been so amazingly restful. The sun has been giving me such a wonderful tan. The waves crashing has been so relaxing, and the pro oh yeah, the, the, the program, yeah. Uh, our actors have been working so hard, and we are so glad you're here to enjoy this unique Christmas program experience. Uh, so many of you have been with us through our many Christmas uh, musicals, uh, Carol and the Bells, uh, Away in a Mango, just to name a couple. Uh, but this year is no different. We look forward to presenting you a uh, exciting fun Christmas experience in that vein make sure that you clap good and loud when you hear something amazing or or laugh with all your gusto when you hear something funny this uh, feedback really energizes our cast when they hear you getting involved oh well they can't really hear you this year but it's still fun right so sit back enjoy and experience a virtual Christmas Merry Christmas, everybody. Hi, I'm Mary, and I live in a town called Galilee. Today I'm going to meet my fiancé, Joseph. Soon he'll be my husband. You know, life in, in Galilee is kind of boring. Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Who are you? And why are you here? Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son. And you will call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the, the throne of his father, David, and will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come to you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to 
to have a child at her in her old age. She who who was said to be unable to conceive in, is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. Just as the angel had promised, Mary was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit because Joseph, her husband, was faithful, faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace. He had in mind to divorce her quietly, but after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home with your wife because what is con... Because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. And when Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took Mary home as his wife. But in those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree saying that a censor should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census to take place that took place while Quirinius Quirinius, Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth and Galilee to Judea, to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he was, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. Oh, Joseph, it's a baby boy, just like the angel said. The angel said to name him Jesus. I'm sorry we couldn't find a better place to stay, but all our guests are full. Here, let's place him in the manger. We may keep him a little warm. There we go. Wow, are you going away in the manger? Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the poor baby wake. The little Lord Jesus, no crying, he made. Life as a shepherd is so boring. Preach it. Listen, do you hear that? No. I know this is such a silent night. I wish we were a little noisier. Me it, me it. Oh, be quiet, Marvin. Me it, me it. So much for the silent night. It is still pretty silent. Out in the field, a quiet night, the stars shine above, so bright lines down in the grass while the sheep knows he passed. Go tell it on the mountain. Over the hills and everywhere, go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds kept their watching over silent flocks by night, behold, throughout the heavens there showed a holy light. Go tell it on the mountain. Over the hills and everywhere, go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. The shepherds feared and trembled when low above the earth rang out the angel chorus that hailed our Savior's birth. Go tell it on the mountain. Over the hills and everywhere, go tell it on the mountain.
Satan that Jesus Christ is born. Down in a lowly manger, our humble Christ was born. And God sent us salvation that blessed Christmas morn. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. That Jesus Christ is born. Me -e -me -e. Oh, be quiet. Do not be afraid, you shepherds down there. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths in a manger. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth. Peace to those on whom his favor rests. Come and worship. Come and worship. Worship Christ the newborn king. Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened which the Lord has told us about. Come on! Hi! Welcome! We have came to worship the baby. Here he is. Thank you. We are honored. Hello there, my name is King Herod and I'm king. I am a very wicked king. It has been a few years since Jesus has been born. Oh wait, I don't know about that yet. Well, anyway, I'm king, but being king isn't so great. I'm the only one worthy of this throne, and everyone's scheming to take it away. I got the Herod blues, cause I'm king, you see, but life's not great when you're king. All I feel is blue. I got the kingly blues. My cape is too heavy, my chamber too stuffy, and at my feast of food ain't sweet. All I taste is blue. I got the royal blues, I'm so lonely today. My friends are after me, I can't trust nobody. That's why I'm so... And that's why I'm so blue. I got the Herod blues fighting for my throne all day. Some think a king would be both joyful and sweet, but all I feel is blue. Yeah, all I feel is blue. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who, be, who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose, and I've come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all of Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people, chief and priests, and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied for this in the prophet has written, For you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from the exact time the star had appeared, he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I, so that I too may go and worship him. Look, Star stopped over that house. Let's go. Is this the child? Yes, this is Jesus. We bring him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Thank you. These are very generous gifts. How can we... Not give everything we have to the Savior or light of the world. The 
wise men had a dream from God and decided not to go back to King Herod, but to return home a different route, Mary and Joseph were safe. What kind of love would come down from heaven? What kind of love would be born in a manger? What kind of king would be born ordinarily? What kind of king would be visited by shepherds? What kind of toddler would see the magi? What kind of toddler would choose us as parents? What kind of man would do many miracles? What kind of man would feed the 5,000? What kind of priest would walk on water? What kind of priest would wash up his feet? What kind of savior would be betrayed by his own? What kind of savior would die when he done nothing wrong? What kind of love would keep him on the cross? What kind of love would carry him to the grave? What kind of king would rise up from dead from the dead? What kind of king would rise to heaven? His name is Jesus, our son. Aloha, everybody. Uh, what an amazing performance. Uh, thank you, everybody who participated. You guys did such a great, great job. The Christmas story was definitely told in a unique and enchanting way this year. Um, and uh, while we're at it, I just want to thank all the participants in this year. You guys all just stretched yourselves and did a phenomenal job. And I want to reach out to the parents who had an incredibly important part to play this year. Uh, you guys did great. Um, thank you so much for the work that you put in in making this virtual Christmas program a reality. Uh, Christmas programs are great fun. Um, and we love to celebrate and sing and have a great time. But let's not forget the reason why we celebrate. Um, today we look at a baby. But that baby came to earth so that he could grow and eventually die on a cross to pave the way so that we could have a relationship with God forever. So the reason we celebrate Christmas is because Easter is on its way. Uh, that's why we celebrate. So thank you everybody for your hard work and, and dedication. Um, thank you for uh, everyone who's watching today from coast to coast and everywhere you're at. Um, really uh, thank you so much for uh, participating in this year's virtual Christmas program. Merry Christmas, everybody. Aloha. We hope that you enjoyed our musical, a 2020 virtual Christmas musical. I just want to leave you with some thoughts. Christmas looks very different this year. It does. It looks different for all of us. This whole year has looked very different. But while so many things have changed and our Christmas plans have changed, some things don't change. And that is the hope and the joy and the peace that we experience through the birth of our Savior. Nothing can touch that. Christmas looks different, but it is far from canceled. Maybe this is the year that we lean it more into that truth, that we stop getting wrapped up in the gifts and the shopping and the decorating and we get wrapped up in the hope and the joy and the peace given to us by our Lord and Savior through the birth of his son, Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas from all of us at Ferndale Free Methodist Church.